From Susquehanna Township High School, ABC 27 Sports presents High School Basketball Live. Tonight, it's the Hershey High Arlington Orthopedics. And that is the Susquehanna Township girls team in the house tonight to root on their Susquehanna Township boys team. We're going to see them play tonight against Hershey High. Hi again, everybody. Greg Mace together with former Steel High star, now director of advanced hoops, Charlie Fortney. We're starting league play tonight in the mid pen. And Charlie, that always means for a little bit more intensity and a lot of good history between these two teams tonight. Yeah, this has become a rival over the last couple of years. And uh, these two teams are both looking to, to hit a stride tonight. And it's going to be exciting to see who, who comes out on top. All right, let's talk about Susquehanna Township. A rich history here. They are led by A.J. Dean. Oh, A.J. is the toughest matchup in the area last year and this year, averaging 27 and a half a game. Look for him to have a big night tonight. And you see him in one of the district games last year at Giant Center. They are 2-1 and one so far with wins over Solanco and Mechanicsburg. Now Hershey, they had a slow start. One on Tuesday night. They got a new coach, and uh, they got a big guy to watch for. Oh, Matt Bain is a 6-8. Uh, if he goes to work tonight, it could be interesting for, for the outcome. But Matt and his team have played a lot in the past, and now they're looking to find their stride, getting two, win, two wins in a row. And here is their win over uh, Balmyra the other night. All right, we're getting set for the opening tip-off, and it's our first high school mid-pen game live of the year. Charlie and I will be back right after this. There's something to be said for a company that has survived the Great Depression, weathered a handful of recessions, and emerged from today's challenging marketplace stronger than ever. And it's worth noting that success has come while keeping its headquarters and decision-making local for more than 80 years. Perhaps growing deeper roots to ensure strength and stability is an idea whose time has come. We figured that out eight decades ago. Penn National Insurance. You don't think about physical therapy until you need it. When an injury occurs, think Select Physical Therapy. Select leads the way in providing patients with clinical expertise using the latest medical research and techniques. Our team provides physical and hand therapy, pre and post surgery, work injury rehabilitation, and much more. With several locations in the Harrisburg area, let Select return you to activity at home, work, or play. Select Physical Therapy. Recovery starts here. Having been to Arlington Orthopedics uh, several times over the past roughly 15 years, I have found them to be very caring. For 15 or 20 years, I've dealt with sciatic nerve pain down both legs. Kind of figured I was going to have that all my life. Because of uh, crippling arthritis, I no longer could hold on to things. We went through this disc fusion sur surgery. It's just changed my whole life. The pain is virtually gone and he fully expects me to return to 100%. Ryan and Todd from Hoffman Ford. Harrisburg's largest volume and only Ford dealer. What does Hoffman Ford mean to you? Respect, outstanding customer service. Honest communication, superior sales and service staff. Did you know that we're open 24 hours a day, seven days a week? Check us out at HoffmanFord.com. Check out our new and used inventory, look for service specials, make appointments, get a quote, and even apply for credit. That's right, just another reason why Hoffman Ford is Harrisburg's most powerful name in Fords. Set for our first mid-pen game of the year, it's Hershey and Susquehanna Township. Greg Mays and Charlie Fordney taking a look at the starters who will hit the floor first for the Hershey High Trojans. Jim Breyer, Griffin Spinagle, Danny Jackson, Big Matt Banus and Harold Brantley. These starters for the Susquehanna Township Indians go like this. Zero is Larry Roscoe, but at the top of your screen, the big guy, A.J. Dean, Justin MacArthur, Shaquan Shepard, and Trent Daniels. And we are ready to go. Nice crowd on hand here at a gym where we've seen a lot of great action over the years. Susquehanna Township at the home white, and they will jump it again. Tip is controlled by the Indians. Fast pace, Dean gets the first two points of the game. Well, and that's exactly what Coach Rogers wanted. He wants AJ to be in a situation to get transition buckets, and, and that pressure that they're applying is actually what they, they want to take the pressure off that half-court scoring for their big guy. Seen a lot of great basketball in this gym over the years, and a high-flying offense it always is for Susquehanna Township. Breyer going low to Banus, short jumper, Township got the rebound. Again. Whistle kicked it. 
That's and it'll stay with Hershey. Yeah, and that's what uh, Hershey wants to do. They want to establish, Coach Blackburn wants to establish that half-court offense. They got that going in the second half of Palmyra, and it won that game. He wants a full game of established half-court inside-outside game. Going to Banis inside was the, was the start of that. Shaquan Shepard. Justin MacArthur. Outside the three-point lane. Larry Rasco. This group here, Greg, uh, this 2-3 zone Hershey's playing is to slow down that pace that Susquehanna wants to play at. That's a three for Trent Daniels and a quick five-point advantage for the Indians. And that's good news for Susquehanna because when you play an up-tempo pace and you can knock down those jumpers against the zone, you got all pistons pumping. Danny Jackson. Matt Bainis, he goes six foot eight. He's only a junior. He's the guy they want to get the ball to. Brantley, Jackson, a whistle, and we'll go back to Hershey. Well, and this Hershey bunch is a tough bunch of kids. They've been playing together a long time. Uh, the first chance for them to play together in a couple years since junior high, the same nucleus. So they're not going nowhere. They're gonna, they're gonna work through this. Harold Brantley gets the first two points of the game for Hershey, and it's a 5-2 Susquehanna Township advantage. Wow, what an athlete. 270, 260. Running the floor like that. Harold Brantley is a D1 football prospect, <laughs> and you can see why. Well, and, the, and Coach Blackburn's just glad he came out for the team <laughs> in basketball, that's for sure. 5 2 Susquehanna Township, two minutes gone, first quarter. <laughs> Justin MacArthur for three. And it's an 8 2 Susquehanna Township advantage. Oh, and this is good news for Coach Vince because. Uh, Todd Turner and Ben Dupree have lived in this backcourt for four years. And, the, and for them to find their identity early with, with these other guards and these younger guards is tremendous. Nice backdoor cut. Yep, Matt Banis right there. His first two points of the game cuts the lead to four. First quarter. Greg, Greg Mace, Charlie Fortney here on ABC 27. Glad you're with us for our high school basketball live presented by Arlington Orthopedics. Daniels again in and out. Hershey well, got the rebound. Well, and Hershey's changing up. Now they went to man. Uh, they're trying to mix it up and, and keep keep Susquehanna Township guessing. Yeah, Vince Rogers told us before the game he thought it would be the other way around, but he knew they were going to change defenses up on him. Oh, absolutely, and and you see a little football rust here for Brantley, and that's that's what that's what uh, is the mo for these guys coming back. We saw it with Patrick Dill from Trinity last week. Uh, Coach Blackburn's hoping uh, Brantley can shake off that football rust because they're going to be a lot better team when he does. The coach you saw is Vince Rogers. Susquehanna Township coach up off the bench. I like it that the coaches can get up now. They used to keep them sitting. Now they don't. A.J. Dean. Uh, he's a hard matchup. Danny Jackson's a tough kid, and that's why Coach Blackburn has him on him. But I, I have a feeling the whole team's going to have to guard him tonight. Dean with a steal. Let's see who recovers. They'll get a foul. Check out our keys to the game real quick, I think. Uh, these are our Penn National keys to the game. And uh, well, for Sus Township. yeah, for Susquehanna, they're going to need to. They want to have full court pressure. They want to contain six eight Banus, uh, and, and they want to guard Brian Jackson on the perimeter because they can get it going. And and for Hershey, they need to run a solid half court offense. They need to get Matt Banus and, and Harold Brantley touches inside, which we've seen early on that they're getting a start on that. And then they need to attack the pressure of the Indians uh, consistently throughout the game, so it doesn't doesn't result to too many points on the other end. Those are Penn National and Enders Insurance keys to the game. First free throw was good, second one didn't go, and then Dean got the rebound, and Dean got his own rebound and gets two more. Well, AJ, AJ Dean has worked very hard to become more athletic, and, and it showed on that play. 13-4, Susquehanna Township leads midway to the first. There's something to be said for a company that has survived the Great Depression, weathered a handful of recessions, and emerged from today's challenging marketplace stronger than ever. And it's worth noting that success has come while keeping its headquarters and decision-making local for more than 80 years. Perhaps growing deeper roots to ensure strength and stability is an idea whose time has come. We figured that out eight decades ago. Penn National Insurance. Our color copy is really 10 cents. Yeah, 10 cents. It's easy. Call Fortney Printing. 
They punch in the order. Copies get made. Quickly put in boxes. Fortney Printing delivers on time. Wow! Only 10 cents. Greg Mace, Charlie Fortney here on ABC 27. Paul Blackburn talking things over with his Hershey High Trojans. Oh, well, you know, it looks like the JV game right now, Greg, uh, but this is a battle-tested group of Trojans. These guys are going to be back. They just have to get in their rhythm. And early on, Susquehanna's done everything. They've hit two threes. They've gotten the big guy going inside. So they're firing on all pistons. I think what Hershey needs to do is limit one of those areas. If they can limit one of those areas, then they can even the score in this game. That was Paul Blockburn there in the, in the blue shirt. Nine years at Lebanon, 13 years head coaching experience. And a guy who played on two state championship teams at Carlisle back in the uh, Billy Owens days. Learned a lot from uh, Dave Lebo and Gary, Gary Worley there, and a, a great tradition for him, hoping to uh, live on here at Hershey High School. Well, I know all about that, because I played in that same era, and uh, pa Paul definitely was a contributor. Foul away from the ball. I think Paul would admit, when you play with Billy Owens and Jeff Lebo and those guys, you're just a contributor. <laughs> well, those were some great, great years for Mid-State basketball, and really kind of set the tone, I think, for uh, the continuing excitement of high school basketball in central Pennsylvania. Hershey on the inbounds, they get it to Banus inside and he's fouled. Well, and that's a tough matchup. I mean, it isn't every night of the week you're going up against a 6'8 athletic uh, athlete like Matt Banus. And you watch Banus here on the inside, Charlie. Well, and he, he found a way to get open there. You know, tight ends don't get the ball unless they get open. And, uh, you know, Matt Matt's, this is a kid that works extremely hard. This is a kid that lives in the weight room. He lives working on his jump shot. Uh, this kid deserves everything he gets in the game of basketball. That's his fourth point of the game. Colt Lewis comes in now for Township, replacing Shaquan Shepard. First quarter, first mid-pen game of the year. We've got a whole bunch of live games for you here on ABC 27.3 this season, and uh, we're all live this year. We're excited about our slate of high school basketball. Got another game coming up on Tuesday night. We'll talk about our full slate later in the broadcast, but uh, Township looking to add to their lead. Well, Greg, for me, I have Verizon, so that's uh, 462. That's right. You, you know your channels already. Good for you. <laughs> Rasco, MacArthur, lost the handle. Jim Breyer. Inside. Brantley gets two more. Well, and, and, and that's a guy, in talking to Coach Rogers before the game, that he doesn't want to see get going for Hershey. This is, this is a, a factor changer uh, if, if Harold Brantley uh, gets his stride. Big he's, rebound for Hershey there. Well, and Harold Brantley again made the tip. So he's part of that rebound, whether he got credit for it or not. Johnny Miller into the game, he's number 14. Nice movement on the ball. Spinagle. Rebound to Dean. AJ carried it over. Well, I love AJ, but that was a carry. Yeah. <laughs> you know, he's doing it all right now. He's bringing the ball down the court. Kind of reminds me of Katie Schran the other night. She jumped ball, then she's a point guard. Yeah, we, we had uh, 43 points for Katie Schran, and here it is, and you nope. Ah, that was, I don't know if that was That a was carry. close. Yeah, yeah, that was close. That's not Iverson or anything. <laughs> <laughs> Two straight turnovers for Susquehanna Township, and Hershey gets the ball back. Well, and this is Jimmy Breyer. His brother was Tommy Breyer, who uh, led that team last year and is now playing at Dickinson College. Uh, basketball runs in the family for the Breyers. He took the shot. Township cleared the boards. Jordan Milbury, 5-5, just a freshman into the game. And we got a foul. Our officials tonight, Brad Yinkst, Dan Mays, and Ron Kennard calling the game for you. Nice look inside. Shepard got the foul on the way up. Well, Shepard and, and, you know, and, and uh, Lewis, uh, Coach Rogers has some good young guys uh, coming along here, apprenticing under A.J. Dean. What a, what a great kid to apprentice under, you know, 3-6 GPA. Um, he's a, a, a writer for the Patriot News. I know he, uh, you know, had, had done that in, in his junior season. Uh, talking to Peg Pennypacker, the athletic director before the game, I mean, you know, what a role.